So as a Palestinian, as a, a, a Palestinian refugee from uh, occupied Palestine, uh, what do you want to say or send a message for the world uh, about our lives as Palestinian people living under the Israeli occupation? I want to say, especially in light of the Trump administration's decision to try and undermine our rights as refugees, yeah. that they will fail, yeah. they will not succeed, yeah. because our rights beyond the ability or the power of Trump. You know, the, this is not up to him or the U.S. to define our rights. We define our rights, and with us, the international community and the international law and the international system. Uh, but uh, I don't want the world, uh, the world to see me only as a refugee. I want them to see me as a human being, as some, someone that can contribute to international uh, science, and I can teach their kids. Uh, you know, I, I did go through a very difficult time. My, my parents had to become refugees at gunpoint. Uh, it was uh, traumatizing. But refugees have not only been a source of burden, they have always been an asset. Wherever they go, wherever yeah. they go. Refugees built the world. They built America, by the way. America is made yeah. of refugees, right? right? So refugees are a source of good. And to think of refugees as just something that you need to scrap out or to undermine their rights is disgusting. It's yeah. really disgusting. Uh, and refugees have always managed to defend their rights and to come back to their homes no matter what and how long it is. So I am absolutely confident that one day, sooner or later, our rights will be acknowledged and will be restored uh, uh, sooner or later. But this is not just about refugeeship and the situation of refugees. This is about a total negation of us as a nation, not only of our, uh, of our case as refugees and of our narrative, the Nakba, if you remember the Nakba uh, and what happened in 1948. This is a negation of our today. When you live in this very ancient village of Nabi Saleh, and you see all the Israeli illegal settlements around you here, uh, creeping into your own home and land, building universities for Israeli only. You cannot go to a university that is built on your land, yeah. which is illegal and confiscated. What, what do you call that? When there is a street here down the road, here, here, and there's a checkpoint, I can see it. Yeah. That street, hmm, that street is, is the only yeah. gate to this village. So you cannot leave or exit except from that Israeli checkpoint. While the other street is for the settlers only, right? Yeah. Only Israeli settlers can use that road, right? What, the, what is that called in, in international law, Jana? That is called apartheid. apartheid. It's called apartheid. There is a clear definition of what is apartheid. Israel has erected apartheid here. It's a very well orchestrated, implemented system of segregation, of supremacy. And that's exactly why President Trump has sided with Netanyahu. Because they are siding with the Ill illiberal forces, with the uh, authoritar authoritarian regimes, with regimes of occupation and colonization like this. And it is exactly you, Jana, up against Netanyahu and Trump. Guess who will win? Who do you think Palestinians, will win? Palestinians, the uh, right people. <laughs> uh, the right people, the people with good hearts, the people with the right dreams and natural dreams, the people who belong to this land and they can live in it and they are part of it, the people who are part of the history and part of the now and they will be part of what? The future. Absolutely. So the future is yours. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. It was a really great honor meeting you. It's my honor. Thank you very much.